Let's cross over there and listen in some of the women leaders speaking. To the community. And like in Migori here, we have really tried to reach out to the people and provide things that can make change and transform lives of our people. So I'm so grateful, please, when you go back to the president, tell him Migori County Women Representative is asking on behalf of the other women reps, Tuongeze Kidogo, we can do better. I believe in women leadership. We are people who can manage things and deliver such things to our communities, even in a rural setup like this one. Otherwise, the cost of this entire system uh, uh, with the equipments now inside is running to over 15, 20 million. I think that's what we have used here. The correct figures I'll be giving soon, but uh, I think that is the much we have spent from the inception to where we are now. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Today we are here, the Ministry of Public Service, Youth and Gender. The entire leadership is here to support Honorable Dr. Pamela Odiambo actually launched this ICT Youth Centre, and I want to congratulate her to making it a completion. In government, we are very keen to complete the project regardless who started them. For the purpose of making that facility like this of ICT for the youth accessible to the youth, to the women, and to the community. So what I would like really to say, we are in Migori, in particular Awendo, and in particular ICT Youth Center. So for us as government or as the ministry responsible for gender affairs and youth affairs, we are very happy because we are seeing right at our window, people are already connected to the globe. If they want to know information about Europe, if they want to know information about the U.S., and especially being able to find, especially for the youth, to access jobs, online jobs, to access information, because you know information is power. So I would really want to thank the women rep from Migori for this initiative and for the fact that she has invited us as here as government to witness this launch. What we would want to say is that the fact that we have seen it and maybe moving forward there will be better need to expand it with the government will be willing to come and support to take it to the next level. Thank you very much. Finally, I would also want to, I would like to appeal to the people of Migori, people neighboring here, you are the one who is going to make this center known. Because when we hear the amount of money invested here, which is like over 15 million, then it cannot just have no return on investment. So let's be able to broadcast, tell learning institutions around here, the communities living around here, the private sector living around here, there is this facility which is going to provide them with being linked with the rest of the world to give them information, to be able to do their businesses, to be able to know a lot of other areas that people are now are relying on the internet, of internet of doing things. Therefore, I would like uh, really even in the area of the girl child, we all know the more years a girl child is in school, the better the quality of life they turn uh, in their future life. Therefore. That is uh, women leaders under the Embrace Alliance there in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs, launching a Migori uh, 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 ICT Youth Center there in Awendo, Migori. More details of that in our subsequent bulletins. But that brings us to a close on News Center this morning. We thank you for watching. My name is Michelle.